<laughs> what did you say? Early if it's easy. If it's not easy, then I'm going to no, no, no. help. It's easy. It's easy, okay? Mm. Just make sure you listen because even if it's even if it's easy and you don't listen, you will not get it, okay? Okay. I said if it's easy and you don't listen, you can get it, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Now you agree with that. So, uh, we have looked at proper fraction as small number over big number, and you understand that, right? No, yes, yes, I do. Be serious, be serious. You understand that, yes. right? Yes. So we can move on and round up now. Okay, three over five, seven over nine, one over nine, two over five, you know, seven over 11, and so on. Smaller number on top of big number, those are proper fraction. But if you have a big number sitting on top of a small number, we say that is improper fraction. Is that clear? Mm, yeah. So I, I couldn't flip my nine over one because nine over one is not a fraction, it's just nine. So. I have 5 over 3, 9 over 7, 5 over 2, 11 over 7, 15 over 8, 20. I didn't use this one because 6 over 3, if I flip it, it's going to be all number 2, okay? Okay. So, I have all of these. Now, how do we now move from, um, from improper? We want to change it to mixed number. What's, what's the format of the mixed number? We said there must be a whole number there, right? Yeah. There must be a whole number. So we should take note of that whole number side. Is that clear? Yeah. Then there will be a number over another number. So let us try to see it. Let's pick the first improper fraction, which is what? Five over three, five. right? Yeah. We're just going to say, if I have five fingers, how many times can I remove three from it? Only one time, okay? Okay. It's going to remain 2, then over 5. You can see this is very simple, right? Uh, right? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what's it again? Uh -huh. This is because you're not listening. I said you should listen. I am listening, but I just forgot. Uh -huh. 5 over 3. You get your 5 fingers, and you say, how many 3s are in 5? That's 1, okay? Okay. So remaining 2, is that clear? then over five okay huh is okay, that clear that... now okay can i do another one because wait can... let's let me just do this first one again before i do another one okay huh okay I just... you know what we you know what we have is five over three right yeah if you count five one two three four five how many times can you remove a three only one time that's all number okay Okay. How many groups of three are in five? Only one group, right? Yeah. What does it remain? Uh, Look at it. What does it remain? Two. Two. Over... F oh, did I say over five? It's over three, okay? Okay. But yeah, do, it's over three. So do you have to take away the three to get your answer? Yeah, the number of times you can take away the three is one time, okay? Uh, oh, okay. Now it remains two over three. Let's try the second one, nine over seven. So how many times can seven go away from nine? It's only one time. So if you take seven away, you have two over seven, okay? Okay. Then how many times can, you know, five over two... So how many times can two go away in five? That's two times, which is four. Then remain one over two, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Is that clear now? Concentrate. Is that clear? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. You know when you have five, one, two, three, four, five. How many... Groups of two, can we see there? Two groups, right? Yeah. Then it should remain one. Please concentrate because you're going to do the remaining for me as homework, okay? Okay. So let me just do one more, which is 11 over 7, uh, number 4. 11 over 7. 
So how many times can uh, seven go away from eleven? Eleven over seven. Uh, so how many sevens are in eleven? Only one. So it remains four. How seven. many sevens are in eleven? Yeah, only one. Okay. Okay. Like when you count eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then you remove seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So only one group. Mm -hmm. Then you have four left, okay? Ah. Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to send this to you. Then you're going to complete the, the remaining ones and convert them to mixed, not, mixed fraction. Because okay? I remember, but not today, because I'm playing with my friend today. Well, you have the choice, but do not forget the method, okay? Okay, tomorrow. Hmm. I'm going to do nothing tomorrow. Yeah, the, yes, this is tomorrow. But I'll do it. I'll try and do it in the midnight. But no problem. She's still, no problem. Okay. She's not going to do it. Mm. Fractions, when we have, yeah, when we have fractions that have the same denominator, what we simply do, because this first one have same denominators okay okay yeah so same denominators that is the number at the bottom of all these fractions are the same okay okay so let's get started for the first one we must not add this okay do not is that clear yes we just write it like that as five but we add but. the numbers at the top which is going to give us three plus one and that will be four is that clear yes now the next one we must not add the denominators okay okay we must just write one of them then we had this it gives us uh four but fortunately or unfortunately, it's no more a fraction because 4 over 4 is 1. Okay? Okay. Then this one, we must not add the denominator also. We read 7. Then we have 1 plus 4 gives us 5. That's 5 over 7. This one, we must not add the denominator also. Then we had 3 plus 5. It gives us 8. Then this is 6 at the bottom. Then 2 plus 3 gives us 5. Is that clear? Yes. Now, what do you think the next one should be? I should write 9 mm -hmm. at the bottom. Good. Then I should write, what should I write at the top? 5. 5, correct. What about this one? What should I write at the bottom? 6. 6. At the top, six. six. Then it gives us one. Okay. Okay. The next one. What should I write at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Four, right? Yes. What should I write at the top? Three. Three. Very good. Then the next one. What should I write at the bottom? Eight. Eight. Very good. Then what should I write at the top? Six. Six. Okay. Do you know that you can reduce this one to the smallest term, right? Yes. What can I use to divide both of them? Two. Two. Very good. So if I divide the first one by... So if I divide the first one by two, what do I have? Four. Four, right? Oh, if I divide by two, what do I have for the first one? Divide by two and divided by two, what do I have? Three over four. 
very good, three over four. So what do you think the last answer should be, number 10? Five over three. Five over three. Or did you say five over three? Three over five? Yes, three over five, okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have three over five. So you understand this first group, right? Yes. So whenever you see that they have the same, just pick um, pick one of them at the bottom, then add the number at the top. Is that clear? Yes. But when they are not the same, we cannot do that, okay? Okay. Yeah, we cannot do that. We follow another method. And when they are not the same numbers at the bottom, we have different kinds of questions that we can have, like this one. Let's start from let's start from this one at the bottom, okay? okay. Just look at this one at the bottom, this question. Let's take it as our number one. So the number at the bottom, are they the same? Mm, no, yeah. they're not the same. So we can pick any one of them, okay? Okay. But we're going to look at them. Can one of them divide the other one? Yeah. Good. Which one can divide which one? It could divide by four. No, there is no four there. Can one number divide the second number? Yes. Which number can divide which number? Both. You said? Both. Um, I don't get what you mean. Which of them can divide the other one? Eight. Did you get? I'm expecting two numbers from your mouth, and I'm expecting you to tell me, for example, if there are nine and three, you can tell me that nine is divisible by three, or you can tell me that three can divide nine. So, which number can divide the other number at the bottom there? Eight divided by two. Eight is divisible by two, right? Yeah. So we're going to pick the biggest one as our common denominator, okay? Okay. Why did I pick the biggest number? Because the smaller one can divide into it evenly, okay? Okay. Look at any other one on the board. Is there any one that one number at the bottom can divide the other one? Do you see any other one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, which one? The one, uh, one, four divided by six. One fourth over five six, or what did you call it? One four over one six. One four over one six, right? Yes. Can 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 four divide the six? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So six divided by four give you what? Will it give you a whole number? Does six yeah. exist on the four multiplication table? Is there any six there? No. So can four divide six? No. Aha. Uh -huh. So there is none of them again that the number at the bottom can divide the other one, okay? Okay. 
So it's only one, it's only this one I'm taking as number one that we can treat with this case. So if I want to label another question as number two, I can have three over eight plus, um, maybe I would say five over 16, okay? Okay. Consider these numbers at the bottom. Can one of them divide the other one? Yes. Which one can divide which one? 16 divided by 8. Yeah, that means 8 can divide 16, right? Yes. Good. So if you have that, then you're going to pick the bigger one, okay? Okay. So after picking the bigger one, let's go back to this first one. After picking the bigger one, how do we go about it? You say, how many eight is an eight? How many? Eight. How many eight in eight? One. One. Then one times five. 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 Then we're adding, so we put plus. Now, how many twos in eight? Six. How many twos in eight? Four. Four times one? Four. Four. So what will be my answer? Nine over eight. And is that a proper fraction or improper fraction? Improper fraction. So what do you think the final answer should be? Nine over eight. Nine over eight is improper. So we want to leave it as mixed number. So what should I write? You remember we've done this before. Changing from improper to mixed number. Eight over eight. What do you say? Eight over eight. Okay, you're trying to say we'll remove one of the eight. How many eight is in nine? One. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you remove eight from nine, what do you have left? One. Over eight. Is that clear? Yes. Now, how do we do this one? How many eight is in 16? Eight. How many eights in sixteen? Two. Two times three. Six. Six. How many sixteen in sixteen? Sixteen. How many sixteen in sixteen? One. One times five. Five. So what should be my final answer? Um, um, what should be my final answer? Eleven over sixteen. Is it proper fraction or improper fraction? Improper. Why do you say improper? It's proper. 11 is smaller than 16. But the other one was improper because 9 is bigger than 8. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to give you work to do on that aspect. But before I give you work, yeah, I think I'll give you work to do on the first and this second aspect before I now begin to look at all of these. Okay? Okay. So, or I think I can still explain a little bit. Let me explain this one at once. Now, that's number two. Let's go to this one as number three, okay? Okay. Number three. What are the numbers at the bottom? What are the numbers at the bottom? 
the sign of this piece. What do you call it? Think about the bus fee. What are the numbers at the bottom? Denominator. What do you say? Denominator. Can you see the screen? Yes. What fraction is this? One over two. And what fraction is the second one? One over three. So what are the denominators? One over two, one over three. No, those are the fractions. What are the denominators? Two divided by three. Wait. Wait. In this fraction, the denominator is eight. What did I say? The denominator in the second fraction, the denominator is 16. What did I say? In the second one, the denominator is 16. Good. In both fractions, the denominators are 8 and 16. What did I say? Um, the denominator is 16. The denominators are mm. 8 and 16. What did I say? The denominators are 8 and 16. Now, check this number 3. What are the denominators? 2 and 3. Good. So, 2 and 3 are the denominators. Now, can one of them divide the other number? Yes. Which one can divide which one? You divided by three. Is it possible? It's not possible. Three divided by two. I mean, none of them is possible. You can't. Okay? Okay. You can't. So, you have three and two which one is the big uh which one is the biggest among the two three so let's go for the next multiple of three what's the next multiple of three mm, three what's the next multiple of three six six can is six a multiple of two? Yes. So we can use six, okay? That will be our LCD. Is that clear? Okay. Lowest common denominator. So how many twos are in six? Mm. How many twos are in six? Three. Three times one. Three. Then plus how many threes are in six? Two. Two times one. Two. Then what should be my final answer? Six. Six. What do you say? Six over six. Add the numbers together and tell me your answer. Five over six. Okay. Five over six. Now let's do this one as the number four. Is five the biggest number? Is it a multiple of the smaller number? Is five a multiple of three? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, you think three plus three will give you five? Is five a multiple of six uh, of three? No. So, since five is not a multiple of three, we can't use the five. Look at the one we did at the bottom because eight is a multiple of two. We're able to use the eight. Okay. Okay. So, 
We're going to use the next, what's the next multiple of five? Ten. Is ten a multiple of three? No. So we can't use it. What's the next multiple of five after ten? Fifteen. Is fifteen a multiple of three? Yes. So we use fifteen. Are you getting it now? No. So three in fifteen. How many threes are in fifteen? Three. How many threes are in fifteen? Five. Five times one. Five. That's five. So how many fives are in fifteen? That's five. How many fives are in fifteen? Three. Three times three. Nine. So we write nine. So what should be my final answer? Mm. Would you have a fifteen? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. I'm going to explain one more then. Let's look at this number let's look at this as number five okay what are the numbers at the bottom of this fraction number five what are the bot numbers at the bottom um, four and six so six is the biggest can is six a multiple of four no. so what's the next multiple of six is 12 a multiple of 4? No. I can't hear you. No. Uh, 12 is a multiple of 4 because 4 times 3 is 12, okay? Okay. So I put 12. How many 4 is in 12? Three. Now 3 times 1. Three. How many six is in twelve? Two. Two times one. Two. You know, this are, I'm multiplying with the number at the top, okay? Okay. So what should be my final answer? Five over one. Is that clear to you? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So um, maybe I should do one more before I allow you to do classwork or write all of this down. So number six, if I want to do this, what do you think I should use as the common denominator for this five and six? Mm -hmm. Obviously, six is not a multiple of five. And the next multiple of six is 12. It's also not a multiple of five. The next multiple is 18. It can't work for five. The next multiple is 24, it can work for 5. And the next multiple is 30, it can work for 5 because 30 is a multiple of 5, okay? okay? Then, how many 5s in 30? Look up, how many 5s in 30? Six. 6. Then 6 times 2, that is at the top, gives you what? That's 12. How many 6 is in 30? That's 5. 5 times 5 gives you what? 25. So what should be my answer? That will be 37 over 30, okay? Is this a proper fraction or improper fraction? Thirty-seven over thirty. Is it proper or improper? Yeah. So how many thirty in thirty-seven? Only one. I mean the seven over thirty. Okay. So I'm going to 
allow you to write down all of this solution, okay? Firstly, write down this one on the left. When you're true, we'll move to the one on the right. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So keep writing now. Okay, so we're going to continue later. You can subscribe to this channel. Thank you.